Oh, what's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. Now, it's first thing first, as always. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a lot of comments on this video. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram down below. And yeah, man, let's get into the video. So, as y'all see by the title of the video, this is gonna be the top 10 best dressed YouTubers. Now, I've been this video in the past, kind of flunked. Now, I'm usually the rapper list, the rapper list, top 10 rappers. I might drop that video tomorrow or either next week. I don't know yet. We'll see. But that video usually go crazy. And I did that. So I'm going to do that. That shit be coming up, like I said, tomorrow or next week. Um, but yeah, man, this is going to be the top 10 best rapper. I mean, not best rapper. Top 10 best dress YouTuber edition. Now, with that being said, as always, if you haven't seen my videos in the past, I always have honorable mentions. So with that being said, let's get right now, into the Now, with the first honorable mention, man, this guy... Uh, I feel like he should have been in the top 10, but like, with that being said, it's going to be a lot of YouTubers that I want to fit in the top 10 or that I feel like they could have been higher on the list, but, bro, I got to have something to pick from. I got to have pictures and shit to choose from. Like I said, down below, comment down below if there's any other YouTubers I do miss that you feel like they got, like, hell shit on their IG that I can actually go up and look and find and get my critique done. That's cool, but if I can't, it is what it is. So, come there at the honorable mention. We got my the kid, man. Um, like I said, the shit he do, I be saying when, like, in his videos, it be fine in the videos. But he don't post it on his Instagram. So, therefore, I really can't add much on to the three, four pictures he already had. And I'm not about to go search nobody, you know, explore page and Google. I'm not doing all that. I'm just, whatever you got on your Instagram, that's what I'm choosing from. So, you ain't got much. Hey, I got something I can do. Now, coming in at number three for the honorable mention. Like I said, it's going to be four honorable mentions. Like I said, Miami Kid, he came in number four. Number three, honorable, the third honorable mention was, uh, I think her name is Mariah. Mariah, that's how you say it. Uh, I'm going to drop her. I'm going to drop everybody YouTube right down below. But yeah, man, uh, y'all don't know her. She's in there a bunch of videos with uh, one of the guys that's also in the thumbnail. Why probably why y'all click. Coin. I know she did videos with Coin. That's how I got put on to her. Uh, her and Kai did a few videos and stuff. Um, but yeah, man, she can dress. She can dress. It's just the fact that if I if I would have made a female YouTuber edition, she would definitely be a top ten easily. But since it's like just in general, just all YouTubers, she just made the honorable mention. Came up just a little bit short. Maybe next time. Maybe next year she'll make it. But with that being said, that's the third of them. All right, second, second YouTuber that made the honorable mention list. Uh, a lot of y'all probably might not know him, especially in the sneak community. But we got Sniper Jones. But Sniper Jones, he came as an honorable mention number two. Almost made the list, almost. Because like, where I ranked it, I ranked it from like the bottom all the way to the top. So like I said, he number two. So he almost, almost cracked number 10. Just to make it. Barely, barely, barely just to make it, man. Um, like I said, he posts dope pictures, dot wall fits, got his own little style. I fuck with it. All right. Nah, this YouTuber, I know he can dress. He definitely, if he would actually post more pictures, bro, he definitely crack the top 10 and come in at the the number one under mention that almost made that number 10 spot. We had Corey SSG, bro. Could have it. Could have made it. Could have made it. But he didn't. Like I said, he got like, he got pictures on his, on his Instagram and shit, but most of them are just videos. Like, I can't, can't do nothing with that. I can't do nothing. You just post the videos. I'm not about to screenshot and look blurry. And, uh, that's just too much editing. I ain't got time for that. So I grabbed the few pictures I could, girl. I could have thrown them on the list, but nah. I just feel like it was other people that was, that was had way more shit that just overall it was just better. That they had better shit that I could pick from and choose from. So with that being said, he barely, barely didn't make the list. It literally could have came in at number 10, but he didn't. So with that being said, we done with the honorable mentions. Let's move on to the motherfucking top 10. All right. So coming at number 10, probably the biggest YouTubers out right now. Definitely the biggest streamer out right now. We got Kyle Kasanet came at number 10, bro. Uh, I fuck with Kyle Star, bro. He got like this, like, I don't know if, if he's just short, but he got like a little baggy fit. He like way shit, like a little baggy, like big clothing, like big jackets, big shirts. I don't know, like I said, could, could he just be small? That's just why he wears shit. But like I said, this shit fire though, bro. Like, like he big on the chrome hearts and shit. 
he always wear like a beanie or a hat. Uh, like I said, I, me personally, I'm going to put the pictures in here, but I'm a big watch person. I love watches. Not diamond, jewelry, all the foot of diamonds and fucking all that shit. I just plain Jane nice, you know, market watch. It's just like the plain watch. I like that shit. And he always posts his watch and shit. So I always, like, I love how he throw in his watch. Like, he added to the fit when he posts his pictures. I really fuck with that. As a person that love watches, I like that shit. So, but with that man said, he got his own style, own unique shit. And I fuck with it, bro. I fuck with it. So, that Costin 8 came in at number 10. And like I said, if you got an opinion, drop a comment down below. Or hit me up on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. I accept it back. Uh, probably follow me back also. Hit me in a DM and just... Give me your opinion. Now, moving on to number nine, we got Kaya Nicole. I was the first female to hit the top 10 best YouTube address list. Our first female got Kaya Nicole. Uh, she made the top 10. Uh, I, I fuck with her style, bro. Like, that should be fine. No cap. Like, all jokes aside, that should be fine as fuck. Uh, I know something I'm going to say, like, oh, I, I can see the comments like y'all like, oh, you just saying that because you like her, you that she cute, that she look good or whatever. Nah, I didn't pick like any female I put on this list, bro. I made sure I didn't get no lingerie thong. Like, that ain't dressing. That ain't <laughs> just because you half naked and you show your body out. I don't, I could care less about that shit. I actually like fuck with your fit. That's why I put the shirt on there. Even, even whether it be a dress or a skirt with a nice top, like the shit fine is nice. Like, it just is what it is. So yeah, she came in at the top ten. She's the first female to be on the top ten best dressed YouTuber list. Uh, like I said, top ten, not the honorable mention. Top actually made the top ten. So yeah, we got Kai Nicole and I don't know if this is her ex. Apparently they broke up or going through some shit. But her boyfriend's also gonna be on this list pretty soon. So yeah, all right, coming on at number eight. Now a lot, of, a lot of people probably forgot about this guy. I know after his whole big breakup, they had one of the biggest YouTube relationships ever. So yeah, I probably forgot about him, but bro, I still follow him, still fuck with him. We got Ken. Ken came in at number eight. Uh, he got his literally like his own like just unique style, like laid back, chill, own shit. Like he rocked a little designer every day, a little designer every now and then, and then he just be rocking like just some basic shit, like some basic like graphic tee, cargo pants. Some nice sneakers, bro. Like, uh, I put it in here, but bro, he went out at one feet. He had on with those yellow Nike sneakers, those cargo pants, and like a little graphic tee. That shit was hard, nigga. Like, I he made me want to go buy those shoes, bro. That shit was hard. Like, just you know, it was kind of plain and basic. That shit was hard as fuck to me. I like shit like that, but yeah, he got his own little style, bro. He wore like basic shit. He ain't really too much of like the not too big on designer shit. He bought like. The shit he be wearing, you can basically go like pick that shit out. Like you can like probably go order that shit and find that shit and buy the shit for like less than two, three hundred dollars. Like whole fit, shoes, pants, shirt, hoodie, whatever. That shit be dope though. Shit be nice as fuck. Can't count. All right, so that's Ken. Ken number seven. We got Kia Monique. Nah, this is like she like one of my favorite YouTubers. But on top of that, she can dress. Like I said, I didn't pick none of the explicit pictures or just photo like face pictures and all. Like no, I. Showing her whole outfit. She can dress. I think her, her outfits are dope. That she has her own clothing brand too. She make her own shirts. I think Kylie Nicole also has her own clothing brand. Or either she's coming out with her clothing brand also. So yeah. If you're a female or a dude, anybody, go to check out their they, uh, stuff they got coming up. They got their own clothing line and shit. But yeah, Kylie came in at number seven, bro. Um, it was different between, like I said, I ain't gonna cap. I did a little bit of favoritism. Uh, I still think Kia can dress a little bit better, but I know some people may say Kylie can dress better, but I added her to number seven instead of number nine. It was it, it was like uh, in between. It could have went either way, but I just went with Kylie because I, I like I watch her more. I don't care. A little favoritism came out. I watch her with them. Number six, we got D Block Duke Dennis. Uh, now Duke, he don't really. He posts a lot, like pictures I can choose from, but like he be having way much better shit on, like his videos and shit. I don't know, he just don't post that much. Like he posts a lot, but not enough to where like it's 
I don't know. I'm just used to people like posting shit every fucking at least once a week. Like when we get, once I get to like the top three, those are people that post like every other week type shit. So with that being said, that's why I do came at number six. And my opinion, he should be a little higher. But like I said, I'm only picking what I can choose from. Whatever you post, what's up on your Instagram, that's what I'm choosing from. If you feel like you wish you should be higher, you want to be higher, so I post a little bit more. So I gotta say. So that's Duke, came in at number six. Moving on to number five. Uh, I mentioned his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend, I have no idea. Uh, we got Cash V, bro. Cash V came in at number five, bro. I actually fuck with dude a lot, bro. His, his clothing line, bro, if I wasn't in the predicament I am, like fucking in the military, and actually ready to get the fuck out and make a lot more money than I'm making now, I would buy hell of his shit, bro. Like, he got some fire shorts, fire shirts, buy sweatpants. This is no promo at all. Like, he hit me up like, no, like, this shit just fire. Like, his clothing brand fire, the shirts are fire, the shorts are fire. Like, his shit just fire overall. So, with that being said, uh, I always say, bro, people with their own clothing brand or make their own sneakers and shit, they got like a little cheat code. That's a cheat code. You, can, you literally can go buy some basic ass shoes or whatever the case may be. Like, say you got your own clothing brand, you can just go buy any pair of shoes. Like, you know what? I'm going to just make a shirt, make a pant, make some pants to match this shit, and make my fit five foot, buy a fitted hat, and you good. So kind of a little cheat code when you got your own clothing brand, can't cap. But still, with that being said, he came in at the top five list at number five. Uh, man, at number four, bro, currently he is locked up. He is locked up. But still, I had to make sure I didn't leave him off the list. We got Omen and Hellcat, bro. That nigga, like I said, like I said with Cash TV, Kinda got a cheat code, cause not only do he has his own clothing brand, but he makes his own sneakers. So, with that being said, that's a big fucking cheat code. When it comes out of uh, pin shit together on, pin that shit on, like I said, you can literally make a pair of sneakers, make a pair of jeans, shirt, hoodie, jersey to go with the shit. So yeah, that kinda is a cheat code. Uh, but yeah, man, hopefully he be out soon. I think he should be out within the next I want to say at least within the next two years, at, I think. Uh, but yeah, man, when he was out, bro, he was putting that shit on, bro. Can't count. Big dude, you know, it was a big dude, bro. He's still dressing up, be fly as fuck. Uh, so yeah, that's number four. So number three, uh, like I said, if you watched my last YouTube video, he was on this list as always. Uh, we got King said, bro. King said he known, I don't know what gas station be at, but he be at the same gas station. I pray he don't ever have beef with nobody because if they find a gas station he be at, that's literally where he be at 24 7 when he takes his pictures. The same gas station every single time. But moving on to that, the nigga be fine as fuck. Uh, I especially like that fit. I'm going to insert it. Hopefully, I put it up at the right time. But when he was at the jet ski, when he went jet skiing, that fit was hard as shit. I ain't going to cap. Like, he was taking shit to a whole other level when he like dressed up. He be getting a hat, backpack, shoes, everything to match it, bro. Like, he really like one of those ones, man. I ain't gonna count. I know his closet got to be crazy. Got to be crazy for this shit. So, yeah, King said came in at number three. Uh, Kind of content-wise, I am kind of fell back from it because all those videos, like the videos he been making, ain't really my cup of tea. But I got to put him on the list just because I felt like I said, I follow him just because his outfits and shit. And his pictures be dope as hell, too, like always. Now, moving on to the top two, bro. This is pretty hard. I ain't going to cap. This was probably the toughest one. But he uh, can't be number one because number one is number one. So moving on to number two, bro. We got Coin, bro. Coin came in at number two. I know a lot of people are going to get a lot of hate from this one. But, like, I ain't going to lie, bro. Once y'all see who number one is, y'all understand why Coin came in at number two. Now, Coin, I fuck with Coin. Like I said, I'm gonna pay everybody YouTube and shit down below. Uh, he also has a clothing brand. I know his shit had a big sellout. He made, I think he said he made over. I think he said he, he actually made seven figures from his goddamn clothing brand. Uh, him and his partner. Uh, but yeah, bro, like he been putting that shit on for a minute, hot minute. Uh, could have been number one if, like I said, if number one wasn't. Number one, he would be number one. And you understand when I get to the right point. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, coin camera number two. If it wasn't for number one, he would have been it. 
But I can't. I, I just can't put him at number one. I just can't do it. So, with that being said, enough of that. Always. Let's move on to the top spot. Got to be a New York nigga, Clarence NYC, bro. Clarence, he just been doing. He just been killing this shit. Uh, he been killing shit since he came on the internet. He's been the best dressed YouTuber since he got put on. Like, just can't count. He just been pinning shit on. Like I said, somebody New York niggas, Atlanta coming up. Like I said, Quan from Atlanta, so Atlanta dudes too. They be putting that shit on, but. It's just something about a New York kid, but New York, they just always put that shit on. Now, also, I forgot to mention, I also had another honorable mention, and that was Phantom. I forgot about Phantom. Phantom also could have made this list. I don't want to forget about him. Uh, I just reminded myself to bring up New York. Phantom could have made it. He could have been in the top 10, but like I said, I want to add, I, I was going to put him at, like, in that top spin at number 10 and pick Kai at number 9, but I want to add, like, some... I just feel like it should have been some females added to this list. I feel like they they actually doing their thing on YouTube. So not to forget about Phantom. Phantom, you made the honorable mention. Almost I wanted to put you in the top ten, but I just couldn't. I want to add a little diversity to the to the top ten. So yeah. With that being said, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope it was nice and quick. Hope I didn't do too much talking. But yeah, make sure y'all like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see y'all again.